Down. Okay, you saw that? That weird thing? The ship is fixed. Fill my oxygen. Technology recharge. Okay, all systems functional. If you look at your log, leave the planet, all systems functional. Seek answers among the stars. W to take off. So we'll use W to take off. Shift key will go a little quicker. If you point it towards a planet, five planets, one moon, tranquil, trading, okay. So we found the system. You have three things to do. First, you'll do W. Left shift. I'm trying to look at these planets, but it, you're gonna have to do the shift first. Another space bar planet. So there's the test the pulse engine. System. Space bar to stop. All right, X. That diamond F. is where the space station. Comms is override. Out. 16, 16, 16, 16. Incoming transmission. Please identify yourself. Space I'm station somewhere up there. Identify myself. You are not z alone. See the scan. Follow the z The broadcast ends as strangely as it began. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates. I input the coordinate data. Before I land on the planet, I'm going to head towards the diamond, which is the space station. Okay, you go around the space station to find the entrance. It'll be a little blue light. Okay. Doing it this way, you get an extra item slot on your suit. Sure, all our discoveries are uploaded. And notice upgrading the exosuit here is free. I like to make squares when I fill it in. Then. Now that you've been at the space station, when you build a teleporter, this space station will be in the teleporter. Okay, now let's see where the signal source is. So on this planet, which is sub-zero quickly. One of the reasons I got the carbon is it expects you to build a house, a small, on your base. And that wood takes carbon to build. I'll use a floor, two or three walls, and I'll use a floor for a roof. If you look to the left, 
I see that there's uh, the kind of things that look like what I'm going to need to find. This is the kind of stuff it leads you to at this stage. So let's land here. And you see, this is exactly where I needed to go. All right, the machine generates a signal tapping out its broadcast into the void. Whoever left the message is long gone. So I decipher the signal and it decodes 161616. 16. No fuel in failed to reach station, hazard protection low, no choice but to underground, deployed base computer. As well as the log entry, the signal contains plans for a base computer and a terrain manipulator. All right, with any luck, the base computer will hold more information about whoever is leaving these messages. I extract plans. It also gives me the design for terrain manipulator. We're going to need a terrain manipulator to mine the copper. So we go to the multi-tool and in there, add the terrain manipulator. You need two nanotubes and one dihydrogen jelly. So two nanotubes and one dihydrogen jelly. I recommend you make the terrain manipulator as soon as you can. All right, and now we need to get copper in order to make the base, and it's a mission item. So you use F, look for these circular things. Technology recharge. Let's go to that building that was 379 units away. G to switch between your mining beam and your terrain manipulator. G tapping G will rotate all the guns that you have. To use. Remember F and left click to analyze. Okay, he's can portable refiner the rusted metal. Now don't forget your refiner. Let's go the other place.
Remember this. Now, if you look around with F, we're looking for copper. Scan the animals, the fauna, whenever you get a chance. The, the, they have the red dots. any copper because I don't see any copper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to search for buried technology while looking for copper. I got that already. Okay, so F to look for buried technology. to make launch fuel. Okay, you go towards the buried technology, which I highlighted in my visor using it. Use G to switch to terrain manipulator. Use your laser to get rid of the subterranean organic structure. to make the crystal fragment turn into the dihydrogen. E to dismantle the tarnished gear. Indium is very rare to get this early in game, so E to process the protein. Okay, we are looking for copper. There, we found copper. an odd place for oxygen. E to get that. Space bar to use the pack. G to switch to the terrain manipulator. Now, by the way, if you do Z, you'll need 30 chromatic metal. So that means you'll need at least 60 copper. But get as much copper as you can there because you'll be needing it for other stuff anyway. Notice you get silicate powder while doing this. 
I would use the silicate powder to refill the terrain manipulator when you run out. Because the terrain manipulator always makes more silicate powder. Okay, we have 151 copper. We only need 60, so we have enough to make the base. I'm going to begin to... I could summon the ship by using X. But I am going to grab some buried technology, which we're going to need soon. So I'm going to walk. Also, walking... If you walk far enough, you will get milestones. You get milestones for different distances walking. So we might as well pick some of that up. I see the sodium. All right, let's grab this. G switch to train manipulator. Think think of G as standing for gun. Notice uh, when you're underground, you're not lo getting um, losing from the cold. Okay, tab. While I'm here, I'll refill my hazard protection. I've gotten plenty of sodium here, so it's not a problem. I will, on my way back, I'm trying to grab some salvage technology on the, so, buried technology, so let's head for that. Traveled 8,000 units, setting out. things you use E on them and you get language. Bakum 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 yum yum yum. The stone resonates producing a sound that fills my mind. A vision takes shape. A robotic life form turns toward me. Light streams from their metal shell forming a glowing fog that surrounds us both. They gesture towards me. You just accept the knowledge and you learn a word. The name Corvax floats in my vision. An echo of the storage, strange vision I just experienced. A word in this alien tongue is seared into my brain. For another buried technology on the way back. Okay, I have a good amount of sodium. Watch for drops. starship. It's 
good thing I'm close to the starship. First, let's move some of the inventory to the ship as we are running out of space. So you put over and you hit X, and then you just left click to drop it on the starship. We don't need the jellies, the goo, the facium. Uh, I don't want the gold, um, the Viking dagger. The Convergence Cube. The Indium, I won't need till later. The Gek Relic can go on the Starship. Okay. We need... It wants enough to make a base of the chromatic metal. So put 60 copper inside the container. In a minute, I'm going to refine the rusted metal. I got 29, and one more makes 30. Now, while we're here, let's put the rusted metal in there. Let me show you, using the rusted metal, I am now at over 1,000 ferrite. And staying active on the carbon, I'm over a thousand on the carbon. Now it wants me to make a base computer and claim a site. But let me show you something. It's being a little sneaky here. Because if you go to Discoveries and look at the planet, planet, it says the Sentinels are zealous here. Now the game's been nice, and we haven't seen any sentinels yet. I'm gonna refill my oxygen. But if I plant a base here, I have a feeling the sentinels are gonna be a pain. So we're gonna to fly to another planet and make our base. You don't have to make your base on the same planet you want. Let's take off and look for... Notice our launch thrusters are at zero. So we'll have to make launch fuel. All right, let's look at the planets. And